I just can't. I mean, this is a. This represents a fundamental shift in Australia's future. That if this is what they're going to do to education, health, and welfare for average Australians, what the hell are they going to do for industrial relations and our jobs in the future? Sixty thousand workers are cut off for medicals on the first of January. I just can't believe it's that many people that are being so badly impacted by this latest change. There are claims the laws save the government and business money, but they're failing the people they're meant to protect. Angry parents are on the warpath over savage school funding cuts. They say they're being forced to raise millions just to cover basic utilities and maintenance costs. We'll see more staff cuts in schools and fewer facilities. Well, I'm going to ask people, are you so sick that you need to go to the doctor and can you afford it? That's not what we bargained for in the 1980s and you remember and we're not going to pop any change to that social compact now. Three quarters of Australians believe they'll be worse off after last Tuesday's budget. Upsetting Medicare, taking away our beautiful universal healthcare system, utter disgrace. I think the High Court has made a significant decision which says that people have a right to come together as groups of people, put money together and participate in the political process. Let's get our next question. Mr Abbey, what's your version of work choice is going to be called? That particular policy, dead, buried, cremated. A lifter can become a leaner in the blink of an eye and if there's no safety net in place for people... They have been locked out by their employer for three weeks. You'll see Buckets going around where we're taking out the collection for these workers and we can encourage you to support them. You're telling lies. That is not a solution at all. That will create poverty. There's only one solution. It's not just where the money's being cut that upsets them, but where it's being spent. Economy to ensure that everyone has the right to a job, equal rights, and decent services, including health, education, and a decent retirement income. That's what we're about.